uh, Matt from soundrolling.com. Um, this is just a run through basically of firmware 2.0. Um, as you can see, my meters are different. I'll basically start off with the meter views. To get to uh, meter views, um, there's three customizable, well, three options you can cycle through if you really want to, or make it two. Um, and they are in systems and meter views. Now I have obviously one turned off, you can have as many presets as you kind of want to cycle through. This is your main main list. Um, so we'll just select some at random. Uh, just talk through them. So this is obviously the wider ones, the wider LNRs, getting rid of uh, the aux tracks. And um, this is pretty cool. I think this will help with the daylight daylight mode and um, being able to see. Obviously not on my phone. Um, obviously this is all your returns, all in one easy go. Um, and this is two returns with seven to twelve on there. And um, basically what's happened is. They've got the direct outputs here to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, you obviously turn this on with uh, going to the input menu and selecting 12 channels. Or you can set like 6 as before. Um, and PFL mode. Um, this basically, obviously, you know, pre fade listen. Um, it allows you to either do prefade as prefade or follow ISOs as in follow what was already done before. So either pre or post, depending to what you've set everything to. So I'm just going to keep mine to prefade because I don't really think I'll use that. Um, and yeah, that's I mean that's pretty much it. It's it's a pretty big update really, um, considering uh, you can still do obviously meter views with just 1 to 6, I think. I don't know, it still has it anyway. Okay, well I mean the most you can fit on is 1 to 12 here. Um, this has got left and right on the top there as well. Um, anyway, I'll keep this video short, but basically this is really cool. Um, obviously if you had gone into 12 track channel mode, um, you're just going across uh, to the right of the pre-fade listen, and you have high pass filter, trim, fader. Um, you're just pressing the select button down to move along and make adjustments. Um, I'm assuming you can make these adjustments on the fly, obviously, because if you didn't have a CL6, uh, you might want to make a few tweaks. And obviously you can decide uh, whether it wants to be a direct out or not. Um, and that obviously gives you uh, flexibility. You can't record the direct outs um, as far as I have tried to establish but um, nevertheless pretty pretty damn cool update and this video is nice and short so visit soundrolling.com for more info